Hello. Hi, this is Rachel. I was trying to reach someone. Um, they called and tried to talk to me earlier. At oh, yeah, that's probably my son. He's in his room making phone calls. Okay, does somebody need to talk to me? Oh, probably not. I think he's making prank calls. I, I hear him in there. He's giggling a lot. Okay, well, he, he was very, very rude when he called my assistant earlier, cussing yeah, at her. So yeah, you may want to tell him not to do ma that. Ma'am, ma'am, that's, that's, that's because of his friend Roger. He's a bad influence. Like, when Roger comes over, that's all they do is make prank calls. Okay, well, just make sure he doesn't call back. Thank you. Okay, well, no promises. I mean, they, they do what they want to do. Uh... Yeah, I'm not going in there. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're listening to the Snowplow Show here on Frank Coolmation. We'll call landlords and customers causing massive aggravation. He's not a hobo. He is your host. He drinks for loco with his jelly and toast. Sit back, enjoy, let the antics begin. Hello everyone, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host Brad, and this one's brought to you by Sim Speak, Teen Wolf Jesus, B.I. Ever for Life, Anthony R., and Carl, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. That's his name, I didn't feel like shouting it, so I'm just reading the exclamation points. Take that, Carl. I recently figured out a really good phrase to type into shipbradsays.com, which is a website that Synthhead has set up so you can search through all of the transcripts of every single snowplow show and I guess every hobo sode. I think I've come up with a really good search phrase. I've only clicked on a couple of these, but the search phrase is going on the floor. And guess what that's going to bring up? It's going to bring up a show from 2018 and 2019. And every year since then, I guess 2018 was the first time I said that. Yeah, this time even more water is going on the floor. You're going to need to get towels then. Towels? Well, she, she was boring. She just sounds amused. Then here's another episode from 2019. It's episode 562. It's called Public Toilet Flushing. Kind of backs up and the water keeps going on the floor. What? What? Oh shit, it's her. <laughs> you know, like, Are you... it's the malfunctioning girl. I, I know it's weird. I'm, I'm filming it for YouTube. I'm, I've got a YouTube channel called Will It Flush. I just flush weird things down the toilet. Are you... So You're I... not... <laughs> what? This girl's awesome. Um, I, I, she just can't this, find the words. I, Ma'am? <laughs> what, what was that noise what, she made? I don't understand. I, I, can I put you on hold? Well, hold on. Like, Does this sound like... Uh, okay, I'm going to flush right now. All right, let's go to the next one. You know, keep moving it down. Oh, it's going on the floor. This went on the floor again. It went on the floor again. Yes. yes. Stop flushing the toilet. I will send me right, the next. Just kind of backing up now. The water's going on the Where, floor. Where's all the people yelling at me? You're trying to flush the Christmas tree in your toilet? Yeah, well, it's I, it's a real tree. I broke it up into pieces. Oh, sir, but you, what are you talking about? You can't put your toilet in the, the Christmas tree down the toilet. Oh, no. That, I did it last year. It worked just fine. It's just, you know, Christmas is over, so I'm getting rid of the tree. What apartment number are you in? All right, next. It's back up, and now it's going on the floor. Is this a joke? Because it's not funny. No, I, I wouldn't kid about that. I'm, I'm just... Okay, I, I need to find out what unit you're in so we can come there and okay, check it. I already told you, I don't need anyone to come here anyway. I'm just... So that's a fun search phrase to type into shitbradsays.com. Here, here's one from 2021. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure if I flush it just without wood chips, it'll just stop going on the floor, won't it? Okay, I'm not a wood chip expert, but well, here, I can. I just know try. that you should not do that. Okay, maintenance. Well, I'm I'm flushing right now. I'm flushing the toilet. Uh, is maintenance gone? <laughs> She's just screaming for maintenance. Uh, it's it's still I, not working, sir. It's going on the floor. I I said not to flush them down the toilet. Okay, I won't flush. Oh, not to flush them. Where's all the angry people? Maybe I need to search for stop flushing. Let's try that. Stop flushing. 
There are 61 people saying stop flushing. I've been here the whole time. She told you to stop flushing your toilet. What is your name? It's Please still, stop it, flushing it, the toilet. It's still Please no, do no, not hit the button. Well, it's not really a button. Here, let me just go through these really, really fast. And I'll edit out the boring ones because there's a lot of results for stop flushing. Like, you know, but if, if it's overflowing, it means stop flushing the toilet. We there need we to know which apartment to go to to unclog the toilet. I don't care what you've done in the past. Stop flushing non poop down the toilet. I've asked you seven times to please stop flushing the toilet and you continue to keep flushing the toilet. Can you please stop flushing the toilet until maintenance can come down there? I need you to stop flushing the toilet and causing what could be an issue for YouTube. What's well, just a little You're bit of water? You're in 16B. Okay, like I said, stop flushing the toilet. I went on the floor again. Yes, yes. stop flushing the toilet. I will send maintenance over there and they can sink the line over. Can you stop flushing the toilet maybe so it doesn't overflow? Well, it seems like if I keep flushing, they'll probably go down eventually. Are you cleaning up the overflow so it doesn't go through the floor and get the ceiling of the unit well, below? I've got dandelions. That's a problem. I've got dandelions all over the floor. Of course I do. Jonathan, I'm sorry. can you please just stop flushing it, okay? okay? I'm sorry. I just, I misunderstood. Okay. Call if you don't stop flushing the toilet. Well, no, I, I pay my phone bill to Verizon Wireless. No, the call for, the... for maintenance to come and fix oh, the, the plumbing. Oh, the call. I keep getting best of shows and like the opening prank. So it's repeating the stop flushing and stuff. There's a lot of good stuff in here under stop flushing. I only played maybe half of it. So try searching for that next time you're on shitbradsays.com. Uh, two more things before we get started today. Very quick things. Number one, the vinyl record that Vista Blue made is available. I mentioned this in the last show. Look in the show notes or the description of the video, you know, wherever you're watching this. And go to the website to order the vinyl record from Vista Blue. It's a vinyl album filled with Snowplow Show intro songs. And once again, this is not my vinyl record. This is Vista Blues. It's a completely different project. It's definitely a limited edition, so get one while you can if you want some Snowplow Show songs on vinyl. And is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything. Let's just do some calls. Hello, this is Stephanie speaking. Hey, Stephanie. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the mayor's office here in... Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, the mayor just wanted me to pass along a message to you. Thank you. Are, are you ready? Do you have something to write with? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, he doesn't like you. Okay. And that's it. All right. He just doesn't like you. I'm not sure what why. Mean? I don't know. The mayor just said he doesn't like you. Is this a joke? No. No, I wouldn't kid about this. Uh, he he's handed me a post-it with your phone number and your name, and it's like, you call this lady and tell her I don't like her. But that's all the information he'd give me. I'm like, well, what, what do I say about that? And he's just like, you just tell her I don't like her. Who's the mayor of You don't know? No. Oh, it's it's uh, Timmy. Timmy? Yeah. I mean, Tim, but I call him Timmy. Timmy who? Yeah. What's the last name? No, it'd be who's the last name because he's a person. He's not an object. Yeah. So what's the la What's his last name? Oh, it's, it's H U. It's Asian. Okay. I don't. I don't understand what this calls about. But okay. Yeah. The mayor. He just does not like you. So you you got that right. You've received the message. Yes. Yeah, thank you. All right. I'm gonna mark it down here on my form that you've received the message. Thank that, you. That that the mayor does not like you. Have a great day. All right. I love you. I got this list here from Timmy, and I'm sorry, Timmy. I didn't mean to use your name in that one. I was just kind of blanking when she asked for a name, so I used yours. What could go wrong? You're probably only local to that area. No big deal, but I'll try not to do that again. Oops. But he says, hey, Brad, here's a list of current phone numbers and addresses here in Canada. Do with it as you will. Call from the mayor, UPS delivery, whatever. I think we should do all three of those things in order. Hello? Hi, it's calling for Hunter. Yep, yeah, this is her. Oh, hey there. Uh, it's Steve Dave from UPS. Uh, we had a package for you today. Oh, okay. Um, to what address? Uh, it's to this five road. Okay. Um, my husband is there. It's the side door. Oh, no, that's not the problem. I was calling to let you know that I left your package kind of on the corner you know where the stop sign is? Okay. I just left yours right there. 
the one for Hunter. Okay. By the stop sign? Yeah, yeah, just out by the road. You'll see it easily as you drive by. It's it's like right there. There's a box. There's actually one for you and one for Mrs. Stuman. So make sure you don't take Mrs. Stuman's. Okay. Is there like a mailbox like there or anything? Oh, or no. Just, just by the stop sign? In, in the grass. Okay. I, I'm not allowed to go on your street. Oh, you're not allowed to go on my street. Because of a restraining order. My ex-wife lives there. Oh, okay. She, Sounds she, good. Yeah, she's a total fucking bitch. I'm sorry. Okay. Have a good day. But yeah, could you call him up and just let him know to go over there? Okay. Sounds good. And you might want to hurry. Okay. Because you, ne- you never know. There's a lot of thieves around here. Well, that didn't work. Hello? Hi, Amanda. Speaking. Hey there, it's it's uh, Steve Day from the Comptroller's office here with the city. Uh, they they wanted okay. me to give you a call and just let you know they're changing the name of your street. It, in yeah, yeah, this Center Street. Yeah. Uh, they're going to change the spelling of it. It's uh, currently it's C E N T R E. Uh, we're going to change it to C E N T E R. We're trying to be more like America, or like you know, like the United <laughs> okay. States. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, just make sure you start addressing uh, all of your letters like that and update your addresses. Uh, they're going to put the new signs out this coming week. Okay. But the the change has already taken place. Okay. Perfect. Thank you for letting me know. Oh sure, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Bye-bye. All right. That was fucking stupid. That was my whatever call. You know, he said to do mayor calls. UPS calls and whatever calls, that was my whatever call, which actually wasn't very funny at all. It seemed funny at the time, but no, I basically told her we were going to transpose two letters in her street name, and she was okay with it. So I guess there we go. The show's over. I've done all three of Timmy's ideas. I called from the mayor, I did a UPS delivery, and I did a whatever. A very unfunny whatever. But this list is two pages long. I think there's a good 40 numbers in this thing. And they're not all answering, but I guess I can just keep going. Maybe just start over as a call from the mayor. Except the problem with that is that every one of these cities is different. Well, not every one, but this isn't all from one area. These are cities all over a certain province of Canada. And I don't want to look up the mayor for every single city. They always ask who the mayor is. So I'm going to pick a city here that I see several times. And I've Googled and figured out the mayor's name. Hello? Hi, Katina. Speaking. Uh, this, this is Al McDonald. I'm the the mayor here. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. We're getting ready to come over to your house on Thelma. We're gonna hold a press release there. Okay. Uh, just in your front yard. We're gonna bring a podium and some some tables for the press and some chairs and just set them all up in your front yard. So I I just didn't want oh. you to be concerned about us showing up. I'm calling to let you know. Okay, um, and like, am I to do anything, or are you guys just using my yard? Oh, no, you, you can just stay in the house. Uh, don't be going up to the windows and making faces while I'm speaking or anything like that, silly, you know? Okay, I just, sounds good. I, I'm just giving a big old speech to the press, just a big press thing. We've got catering tables and chairs, and uh, there's going to be camera crews there. Okay. And a lot of important people. Okay, sounds good. And um, roughly how long would you guys be doing that for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, probably just an hour. But, you know, there's going to be like an hour of setup and everyone's going to hang out. And, you know, people probably want to use your bathroom and they'll, they'll probably be, uh, you know, just milling about in the backyard and stuff. But they're good okay. people. The, you know, these are all city people. It's cool. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I guess. Okay. Are you good with anyone climbing trees? Um, kind of just like an aerial camera view, like a higher camera view. I don't know anyone that can climb trees. I mean, I could if you needed me to, but I'm not sure. Oh, can can you hold a 125 pound camera while you do it? Probably not. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. All right. Well, uh, we'll be there in about an hour. Okay. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Goodbye. I forgot something kind of important, and that's that I'm calling Canada, and they don't typically anger as easily. Dang it. She's just like, okay, all right. Sorry I can't help you with that camera while climbing up the tree.
I feel so bad about it. Here, let me try digging a hole or something. That should do it. Hello? Hi, Megan. Megan? Hello? Hi, Megan. <coughs> hello? Hi. Hi. Can hello? You hear, can you hear me? You just keep saying hello. I can a little bit. I'm having a hard time. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the Streets and Roads Department here with the city. Sorry, I'm just going to go to a better area. I can hear you better. Okay. Sorry, can you repeat that? Oh, uh, I was calling to let you know we're coming out to your house to dig a hole in the front yard today. Oh, are you? Yes. Uh, we're in the Streets oh. and Roads Department in Public Works. Okay. And uh, we found a treasure map underneath, a, behind an old filing cabinet that's been down here since the 1960s. And we're pretty sure the treasure's in your yard. Is that on 4 Street? Yep. Street East. Yeah? And yeah, we're just going to, we're, we're getting the, the road crews together. We're pulling them off of legit street projects. And we're going to bring them over to just start digging up your yard. And we're going to see if we can dig up, dig up the entirety of the yard, uh, you know, just okay. today. Uh, does my landlord know? No. Oh, no. We just no. have your number. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, just, um, we'll just tell him you said it's I fine. I give you my landlord's number. Okay. They have, uh, they have two. Okay. Um, one's for the office, which is... Eight two. All right. Six. Okay. And then the other number. It says it's an an emergency number, but four nine. Yep. Zero nine eight. Okay. Who should I ask for? Um, I'm not really sure. It's it's properties. Okay. They they own like most of. Oh, okay. I've heard of them. Um, all right, but you're you're cool with us just digging up the entire yard, right? Uh, I would talk to my landlord. Okay, but we can tell them that you said it's okay. No, no. How come? Definitely not. Uh, because. Okay, so I'm gonna mark down here that you you said it's not okay. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Okay, but we're probably uh, gonna talk them into it because we're the city and we can do what we want. Okay, well, I'm going to call my landlord. Oh, I'm going to call him first. Well, I'm going to call him, too. I'm going to... Okay, all right. Yeah, because I don't need people digging up my lawn without permission. Oh, no, we're going to get permission. We're going to talk to the landlord. We just wanted to make sure it was okay, okay with you. Okay, I'm just saying, though, if you don't have permission, it's we're not going to be good on you. You we're don't just do go th- dig up people's lawns without permission. I know, but we're going to do the front yard, the sides, and the back. Basically, you're going to have a moat around your house. But no water is going to be in it. Hopefully, well, we might have to spray some water on there Excuse to do me? that. You're going to have a, a moat around your. We're going to the the yard's just not going to exist anymore. It's going to be a pit. You're not going to fucking do that. No, just for you know, just for a few days. We're going to. You know what? You know what? You come to my house, you're going to get fucking arrested. Stay the fuck off my property. No, we're we're gonna we're gonna put the dirt out in the street, and it'll just. Oh no! Okay, all right, all right. I got to call these other people back. I mean the the landlord. Before she calls the landlord. And should I do the digging thing or should I just say, hey, it's Megan's boyfriend. I'm doing something crazy in the house. I've put gerbil tubes in all of the walls. And crap, they're not picking up. Maybe she did beat me to it. I have reached properties. No one can take your crud, crud, crud. Let's try one more time. Then I'll try the emergency number, which I'm sure is just maintenance. And they're still not answering. So let's try maintenance. Hi, this is for the fastest response, please text this number. Oh. Otherwise, leave a message. All Thank right. you. Okay, so it's all right. I have another plan. That was maintenance. They're not answering. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Megan back from the landlord's number and just see what she was trying to contact us about. Hello? Hi, Megan. Hello? Hello, Megan. Megan, hello? Hi. Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Hi. This is Carol from Properties. Hello? Pardon? This is Carol from the property management company. Carol. From the office, from the properties. 
Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Uh, we got a call from the city. Apparently they're going to send some trucks out there to do some digging. Well, crap. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Oh, man, I'm trying to call her back. And it's going straight to voicemail now. It looks like I can't get through to the office either. So, okay, we're done with that one. Hello? Hi, Kayleen. Hi. Hey, it's uh, Gary from the Public Works Department here in... Okay. Uh, we're going to be... We're, we're getting a bunch of trucks together. We're going to be uh, coming over to your house here in just a little bit. We're going to be digging up the front yard. Oh, how come? Um, well, we just we found this map. Uh, it's behind an old filing cabinet uh, in the basement here of the Public Works Department. It's a okay. It's a treasure map, and it's indicating that there might be uh, untold riches buried in your yard, most likely in the front yard. Is this a joke? So, oh no, no, I wouldn't kid about this. We're uh, we're getting a lot of the crew together. We're getting some trucks and some men. And there's going to be an entire work crew over there soon. And we're going to try and do this as fast as possible. Okay, what so, untold riches are you talking about? Like, We're not entirely sure. Is it like, but, like I I'm really confused. Well, it's, like, it's <laughs> most likely going to be gold stuff. Like you, either, uh, you know, gold coins or, uh, you know, just gold things. Okay. So we're just going to be out there pretty soon. Uh, we're going to bring a bunch of trucks and... You know, digging equipment. I feel like I'm being pranked. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, we wouldn't joke about this, ma'am. But um, we, it, it is going to be the entire front yard. Like, I know you have that sidewalk. We're going to leave that alone. But, we, you know, once we get down far enough, we might, you know, dig over a little bit to see if there's anything under the sidewalk. Okay. So, you know. Does that mean I get that? <laughs> Does that mean I get I get a coin or something too? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll give you a coin or something. It's fine. Okay. Or maybe like a um, little, little trinket or something out of the. That'd be cool. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm not currently home right now, but um, give me like I should be home like very soon. I actually had plans, but um, I'll I'll change those plans. Oh and no, we don't I need your help. There's... You should just stay away because we're digging up the entire yard. Like every bit of grass that's out there, like in front of our house, like in front of our unit. Yeah, the entire front lawn. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna let my neighbors know just so that they can, okay. if they're home, just so that they kind of don't well, freak out and think that there's something wrong. Yeah, don't give them too much notice because we don't want them to try and stop us. But we're gonna dig about ten oh, feet. They, 10 no, feet. No, 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 they shouldn't. They shouldn't stop you guys. It's just because they were okay. No problem. I'd like um, to see them try anyway. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You yeah. guys have all the all the. Though well, I do have to come home. Um, Can you shut those kids okay. up? Pardon? Can you just shut those kids up? They're really screeching. Are you serious right now? Yeah, they really are. I mean, I don't know if it's loud for you, but. It just seems to be on a certain frequency that travels through the phone really well. Really gets so you'd like gets in my to shut my kids up. Yeah, really, really gets in my eardrums. Yes, please shut them up. Okay, what's your name, Gary from Public Works? Correct. Yes. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna be. You uh, do realize that that's that's not something you tell somebody, right? To their to their face. You're coming and impeding in my area. You're telling me you're coming to dig up my yard, but then you're telling me to shut my kids up. Well, you know how rude that is? One of them was screeching. They're kids. It's like a little mosquito in my ear. It's like coming right through the phone line. I didn't like it. They're kids. I... Have you not heard any kids that don't are that are not loud? Yeah, well, I don't know. I always you know, I, I used to have kids and I would just shut them up. I can't believe you right now. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I'm um, sorry. Maybe we have different parenting techniques. Anyway, we're going to be out there to well, dig clearly, the hole. Um, no, and, no, 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 I'm I'm going to be contacting my landlord before you guys touch anything. Oh, no, whoa, you don't even own the house? Well, it's cool then. Like you, uh, Exactly. I don't own the house, so I'll be contacting my landlord right away, and I'm going to have them meet me at my house. Because it's not my property. Do you want me so to... you shouldn't even be calling me. You should be calling my landlord. Now, I will get in touch with you later. 
Okay, well, we're going to be there probably when you get home with the, the trucks. So, and she's gone. She's not going to get a trinket with that attitude from the treasure chest. I'm suddenly noticing also that most of the names on this list are females. There's a few male names thrown in, but I don't know. I thought Hunter was a male name, but that but that lady said that she was Hunter. Here, let's try one of the male names on this list. His name is Owen. Hello? Owen? Yes. It's your neighbor. It's Brad. I live here, uh, you know, on... Okay. Uh, I needed to let you know I'm, I'm selling an NFT of your face. Your what? I'm selling an NFT of your face. It's a non-fungible token. I'm, I'm selling okay. it on, on a website. Okay. And it's basically going to be uh, your head, but it's like a 3D view, and you can kind of spin around it. And it's just it's your face and your head. So what's this about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, do you know what an NFT is? Never heard of it. Uh, Bitcoins? No, you're not doing anything. Okay, well, no, it's just of your face and, and your head. That's I don't all. care. Okay, well, it's it's like... I, I, what, what, what is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. It, it's, a, it's a digital item. Like, you can use it in video games and stuff. And... and, and so you know they, they can play as you. They'll be they'll be able to play as your character. It'll look just like you. Forget that. Well, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I just I. Yeah, well, I have no. Nobody's putting my face on anything. Oh no, I already have. I've got it up on this website, and people are bidding on your face right now. <laughs> and who gave you authorization to do that? Well, nobody. But that's why I'm calling. I just wanted to let you know. That I did this. No, you don't have authorization. What if I give you some of the money from it? No. I don't. I don't know if you've looked up NFTs on the internet, but you know some of these can go for thousands of dollars. I've never heard of it, and I'm not interested. Well, I don't know why you're being like this. We're neighbors. I live down the street on <laughs> Avenue. And where'd you get my picture? Oh, I took it out the window. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm, I'm not home right now. I'm driving. But I have no idea what you're talking about. It's, I've never even heard of it. Yeah, it's a non-fungible token. It's the, the latest thing on the internet. Yeah, okay. They're, they're going to be selling those in the new metaverse that we're all going to hang out in when that totally happens. I don't know what you're... The metaverse. You know, why Facebook. Are you, why are you following Fa- me? Face- why why are you following me? Why are you using my face? Owen. But because I, I just... You know what I just- can you I tell that? Clue what... Can you tell that wife of yours just to shut it? Whoa! Whoa! Now. What? You shut your mouth. Oh no, no, I won't. I don't see why you're being yes, like yes. this. We're neighbors. We're just trying to tell you that we don't know we... what you're talking about. Okay, well, calm down. I, I just. just trying to figure out the purpose of your phone call. Oh, well, that's what I was trying to tell you. I, I made a non-fungible token of Owen's face, and I'm selling it on the internet. And who gave you authorization to do that? Nobody. That's why I'm calling you. I'm letting you know. You do not have author. You do not have authorization. I'm telling you right now. But the problem is, I already put it up, and there's no way to take it down once you put it up. And people are bidding on it, and someone's going to own your face soon. I'm sorry. There's. It's out of my hands at this point. But the the bidding is the bidding, the bidding is up to uh, fifty three dollars right now. American? So you never know. We can make a bunch of money off of this. I've made NFTs of several of my neighbors' faces now. But yours is the first one that did this well. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, it's hard to hear you. What happened? You're you're fading out. You're holding the phone upside down. Pardon? Oh, you, you were fading out really bad. I couldn't hear you. Yeah, I'm trying to get my car get over in the car phone. Yeah, really, you, should, you shouldn't be car. you shouldn't be driving and talking on the cell phone. That's dangerous. Well, you shouldn't be using my. Hey, should you? Well, I don't see why not. I, what's your address? What's your address on? Uh, twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah, yeah. It's, and I'm in the blue who house. Are you anyway? What? Oh, this, my name's Roy. Yeah, And who are you? Uh, I'm your neighbor. What business do you have? 
You're no neighbor of mine. I don't. You may be, but I don't know you. Okay. Yeah, I don't really know you either. I just I, I took a picture of your head so, from several different angles, and I've turned it into a non fungible token. Really. And thank you for shutting and, your wife up. By the way, it's much nicer now. Okay. You can shut your fucking mouth now when you're tell my wife to shut up. No, I I told her that earlier. I'm you're saying being disre- you're being disrespectful to her. Telling her, telling me to tell her to shut up. But I'm saying thank you for shutting her up. That's all I'm saying. No, that's exactly. No. That's oh, exactly. She goes you again. are being very disrespectful to her. All right, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be. <laughs> well, when you you told me to shut her up first, and you did. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. I did not shut her up. Well, she stopped doing it. So, mission accomplished. I I did not shut up. See, now you're doing it just to prove a point. Come on, shut up. Okay, that's the end of that call. I wish there were more Owens on this list. Because Owen was awesome. So that was an idea sent in, I think, through email from Tim Riggy. He says, hey, Arby, my girlfriend thought it would be funny to tell people you bought an NFT of their face. I thought it could be funny to call tenants and say you own the NFT of their apartment and they owe you money or... To hear you explain what an NFT is to every single person you called. And I kind of thought that people would know what NFTs are. But maybe that's just because I'm a nerd and that's all I see anymore in all my tech feeds. Oh, and he says, or call HOAs and say it. I don't know. I kind of like just doing a person's face. Or I mean their head. A 3D image of their head. You know, so you can use it in video games. All those video games where you can just put a 3D image of your head on your character. You know how you do. But thank you, Tim Riggie's girlfriend. That was a great idea. I'm going to own everybody's head. And I'm probably explaining NFTs wrong because really I don't totally understand them. Or I mean, I don't understand the point of them. I know what they are. Hello? Hello, Dave? Yeah? It's uh, it's Greg from UPS. We had a delivery for you today on <laughs> Avenue. Oh, what is it? Uh, it is a set of, it's like a spice rack thing. And there's some spices in there. I opened it while I was driving just because I was a little bored. I opened your box. Oh, yeah? So I just, I don't want you to be upset. Okay. But uh, it's going to be on your, you know, I'll leave it out there, but it's going to be open. So I just didn't want you On to, the front part? Yeah, yeah. And everything's still in there. I was just curious about what's in there. <laughs> Why are you curious about what was in there? I don't know. Just I, I just wondered, you know, like when I was, while I was driving toward your house. I'm like, wonder what's in this one, and I had it up in the front seat with me, and I, I cut it open and looked inside to see what it is, and it's some kind of spice rack thing. To be honest, I I don't know. It, it's some sort of kitchen thing. It looks kind of girly. Dave? Yeah. 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 So, okay, so- yeah, just leave it there, bud. No worries. Okay, uh, the box is going to be open. I don't have tape in here to tape it up. No, it's all right, buddy. Don't worry about it. Okay, all right. And I didn't take anything, and I didn't put my fingerprints on it. <laughs> I'm going to find. I got to get to the bottom of this. I did yank it all out of there because I was trying to find the uh, the shipping slip in there. To... <laughs> I'm just. So... I'm, I'm fucking with you, buddy. I don't, I'm only fucking with you. <laughs> oh, what what did you even say? I didn't hear that part. Oh, I I just. <laughs> Uh, okay, that that's. Ha, ha, ha. I, I'm just kidding. I hear buddy. that. Don't worry. Okay, <laughs> all, all good, right. buddy. Just leave it on the porch. We're all good. All right, night, your buddy, pal. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. I love you. I gotta go. Yeah, no worries. See ya, bud. I ain't your bud either, cowboy. Well, <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye. That's better. Get him to stop calling people buddy. Damn Canadians not being angry at me. Why are you Canadians so nice? I think I just need to stick to Tim Riggie's girlfriend's idea. Hello. Hello, Mike. Hi. Do you know what an NFT is? Sorry? I didn't think so. Hey, uh, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. You know, you know the blue, neighbor? You know the blue house? Sorry. A blue house where? Uh, well, you know, wait. I'm I'm on drive, but I'm like quite a ways down the street. This is an important message for everyone.
Okay. How can I have, and um, how can I help you? Oh, uh, I made an NFT of your head, and I'm selling it on the internet. What the heck is an NFT? Oh, it's it's a non fungible token. It's kind of like Bitcoin in a way. You know, it uses the blockchain. Of my head? I don't understand that. Yeah, it's a 3D representation of your head. And it's got your face, uh, you know, etched onto it. it. It's it's basically you. It's your head with your face on it. And I'm selling it on an auction site. And usually, you know, my stuff doesn't sell that well, but yours is up to uh, $43. So I just thought I'd let you know because maybe I should, you know, send you 20 bucks or something for... Making an NFT of your head? How is this possible? Oh, I took, you know, I was just going around the neighborhood taking photos of everything. And uh, I, I had several different angles of you, so I just made a... Three- why, are you, uh, why are you calling from North Bay if you're my neighbor? Oh, I used to live in North Bay, but now I live around here. All right, I find this hard to believe, but yeah. <laughs> that that I have a that I like that I used to live in but... North Bay, but now I live in. No, this whole situation. Why in the heck? Uh, like, wouldn't you need my permission to be doing this? Well, that's kind of why I was calling. I, I didn't want you to be upset with me, and uh, you know, I could end up making some good money off of your head because uh, these things sometimes they sell for thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds very fishy to me, man. <laughs> okay. Well, no, I'm not. I'm not a scammer or anything. I'm not trying to get anything. I just, I'm your neighbor, and uh, I thought I should let you know I'm selling your head. What number house? Oh, uh, you're on eight. I, I'm on twenty three. I'm like way up the road. Way up the road. Twenty three is like my neighbor, but yeah, but pretty far away. They uh, these numbers jump pretty fast on this street. So what's in this neighborhood then? I don't know. Why do I have to prove myself to you? <laughs> Why you're gonna, you're going to be asking me for my information? Of course you're going to have to prove yourself to me. No, I'm not asking you for your information. I'm just letting you know I made a 3D model of your head. I'm selling it on the internet. So now you want my email so you can send me some money and... No, I don't. What are you talking about? I'm just your... You just told me you were going to send me money. I'm... No, no, no. I, I said if you, you know, if it sells for a bunch and if you want me to... I could just walk over there and give you 20 bucks or something. This sounds so funny to me. <laughs> not... I don't understand. I never got a call like this before, but this sounds retarded. This sounds well, you... funny. Did you just use the retarded word, sir? I, sorry, I'm it is, it vocabulary. Is 2022. Here, it is not cool to use the retarded word. <laughs> All right, man. I'm sorry, though, but you caught me off guard here, man. I have no idea what the heck's going on here, and you're telling me you're selling my face on a coin? No, not on a coin. It's a digital representation of your head. It's a 3D head with your face on it. So where is this? Uh, it's on the Internet. And it's on an, an NFT auction site. Like you should look up what NFTs are. Th- then you'll know I'm for real. But yeah, I don't, I don't need anything from you. I'm not trying to get anything from you. I'm just letting you know I'm your neighbor. How'd you get my phone number? What? How'd you get my phone number? Uh, I looked it up on the internet. Everything's on the internet. Oh, on... I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it sure is. No, it was on the dark web. Your your phone number. On the oh. Did you say the dart web, like darts? No, no, dark, like dark as in. Oh, the dark web. Oh, what did you say the web was and what? Oh, NFT. And you can read more. And uh, Open C, that's the website. Open C, that's the one. That's where I've got your head up on an auction site. A website got blocked by Rostam Nazar. Which is a censorship monitor. All right. I don't know. So, yep. I don't just care on that. So, so you don't mind? You don't care that I'm, I'm, I'm selling your head? Well, I, yeah, I kind of do. I would like to see what the heck's going on here. Yeah, just, uh, just, just get get on OpenSea.com, 
and do a search for your head. Just type in Mike's Mike's head. Open. Open C, I think. Yeah, open C. Anyway, uh, I gotta go because um, you know I've got some people emailing me questions about your head. I gotta answer those emails. Oh, okay. Well, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find this. What are you watching on the TV? Uh, war. Isn't it just repetitive at this point? Why don't you watch, you know, oh, baby. some something awesome instead of the war? <laughs> what is this? Uh, it took me to an MD net. MD net. I don't know. It's op- OpenSea.io. Yeah. OpenSea. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Our neighbor. You're going to learn all about fungible tokens now. I swear I don't work for OpenSea. This totally isn't a website to grab all of your personal data and send it directly to me. Discover, collect, and sell OpenSea and world's finest NFT market. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah, is this like those things you, that like people are selling and buying that's like just on the web yeah and they, they could be worth billions of dollars but probably not for your head probably i would doubt your head's gonna go past 100 but you never know oh right no well he's at number 23 who's 23 who's 23 all right well, yeah, this is very strange. He walked around the neighborhood taking pictures, and he's got different angles of my face, and he's selling he, it. Are you court. talking to somebody? Yeah, talking to my wife. Oh, tell her to me. shut the fuck up. We were talking. You're on the phone. Tell, Be like, honey. Whoa, whoa, buddy. What the fuck, man? Are you kidding me right now? Well, no, we're on the phone. Yeah. We're on Why don't you come down here and say that to my fucking face, then? Well, no. You, you know where I fucking live, You man. sound upset with me. I don't... Are you to talk to my goddamn wife like that? Why don't you shut the fuck up? And you're not selling my goddamn face on the coin. I hope I fucking see it somewhere. Sir, it's not cool to use the goddamn word, I'm a Christian. Okay, well, sorry about that. It's not cool for you to tell my wife to shut the fuck up. Well, no, I was hoping you could tell her. Yeah, okay, buddy. That's going to happen. I think I've definitely figured out how to trigger a Canadian. Even the ones that don't care so much about me selling their heads, they still don't want me to talk shit about their wives. Hello. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Uh, this is Steve Dave from the, the mayor's office here. Mm-hmm. And he just wanted me to give you a message here. Yeah, what? Uh, he doesn't like you. Is that right? Yes. Uh, well, that's okay. I, I just love the guy. What guy? Do you know who your mayor is? No, I don't. Oh, it's Al McDonald. Some tall, some tall looking guy. Yeah, Al McDonald. There he is. See, there you go. Yeah, yeah, he I doesn't know. like you. He doesn't like me. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. It's his choice. Yeah, that's true. I I, uh, I asked him why, and he won't tell me, so. I don't I guess you'll I'll just, uh, you'll never know why Al doesn't that's like it. you. <laughs> oh, Al's not, it's not going to hurt my feelings. That's good. I'm glad. You're a you're yeah. a good man, Mark. You know what? I sure. do like you. I think you're a nice person. Yeah, man. Huh? What are you going to give me for that? What are you going to give me for that? I ain't giving you shit, motherfucker. <laughs> what, you think you, you deserve something just because someone doesn't hate you? Well, I do because I don't know who I'm talking to. You're, you're starting to make me not like you. Yeah? Why is that? I don't know, because you're asking for stuff. Well, I don't know who you are. Uh, this, this, I already told you, this is Steve Dave. Steve Dave, never heard of him. Yeah, I'm the mayor's assistant. You are? Correct. Uh, I don't believe that. Why? Why? What do you do for the mayor's assistant? Oh, it's none of your business. <laughs> you drive his car? Sometimes. Oh, yeah? I do whatever he wants yeah. me to do. Is that right? Oh, oh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, I would. <laughs> so all right i love you mark yeah what do you want from me nothing, nothing? Uh, just calling to give you a message from the mayor okay good for you for mayor al yeah, okay 
You tell Allah, I just love him, but I know he's leaving, so. I don't think he wants to hear that from you. No? Nope. Well, tell him to fuck off, then. No, I'm not going to say that? that to the mayor. I'll lose my job. Why? Why? You, yeah, you're, not, you're just repeating what I said. You're not the one saying it. Well, yeah, but I, that that's really rude. Why would I say that to him? Because you just tell him that there's a, a voter in the that told him to fuck off. Yeah, but he already doesn't like you, so I, I don't want to. I don't want to fuel the fire, you know. <laughs> he doesn't even know who I am. Oh, he knows who you are. He doesn't like you. He doesn't like me. Right. Oh well, that's his choice. I know. We've already been over this. Now we're just repeating ourselves. Okay. So what? What else do you want? Uh, I want you to hang up that phone. Yeah. Hang it up okay. right now. Good. Goodbye and have a good day. All right. I love you. Love you too. Goodbye. All right, I think I've called a majority of the males on this list, but I kind of wish I hadn't because I want to tell more people that I'm selling NFTs of their heads, but I don't know how females are going to take that. They might think I'm going to rape them or something. I don't want that. So maybe it's just a good time to end the show right now. I've done a lot of calling. I've been at this for over an hour. I think I have enough calls for a snowplow show. Hello? Hi, Janet. Yes? It's your neighbor. It's Roy. Roy? Yeah. Yeah, I live over, over here on LaSalle Boulevard. I just have a question. Okay. Sure. Uh, is it okay if I sell an NFT of your head on the internet? Janet? Janet? Hello? Janet? Hello? Hello? Sorry, oh. my phone cut out. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Thank God I didn't lose you. Um, w- Would that be cool <laughs> with you? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you asked. Oh yeah, I I, uh, I made an NFT of your head, and I'd like to sell it on the internet. Is <laughs> and she just hung up. I was trying to be polite about it, and you know, ask her permission instead of just telling her I did it. Hello. Hi, Heather. Yeah. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. Pardon uh, me. It, it's Roy, your neighbor. I live here on <laughs> Drive Two. Oh, okay. And I just needed to find out from you, is it okay if I sell a model of your head as an NFT on a website? A what? Um, it's an NFT. model of my head? Yeah, it's an NFT of your head. And it's got your face on it and everything. And I, I just wanted I've to... I've never heard of such a thing. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to clear it with you before I actually uh, sell this on OpenSea on the internet. Well, uh, I can't say that I want to... Uh, wh- where would you get that from? A oh, picture? Well, yeah, yeah, I used some pictures off of Facebook. And, uh, you know, I, I modeled the rest by hand. You know, I pasted your picture on the front, so it looks exactly like you. Uh, well, that just kind of seems... And you live right around us here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm on drive, too. I'm, I'm way down there, uh, you know, like 23 drive. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it, it, I mean, uh, I guess I can say I'm flattered, but it, it seems... Uh, how did you get this phone number? Oh, I looked it up on the dark web. Oh, I see. Well, the, this uh, is a little disturbing to me, so... Uh, oh, no, no I, I don't want I you to be prefer... disturbed. I'm, I'm not... Oh, well, uh, <laughs> you looked up my phone number on the dark web. That seems kind of strange, but uh, no, uh, you don't have permission well... to... Well, do you know what an uh, NFT is? I could share some of the money with you if 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 it goes really big. Uh, no, no, I would prefer that uh, no that you didn't do that. You don't want someone. We've got enough going on in this world right now, and uh, no, I, oh, I don't. Oh come on, think, this has uh, nothing to do with the war. No, no, this is not something that I don't agree be, to. Don't I, be silly. I, I, well, no, uh, you're being silly, so I would prefer that uh, you didn't reach out to me again. Thank well, you very much. Do, do you want the head? Like, do you want me to... <laughs> See what I mean? The the females, they're not going to get pissed about it. They're just going to get creeped out and think their neighbor's going to throw them in the back of a van. But I wouldn't do that. I just want to sell her head. That's all. She's acting like it's weird. Okay, I know I said I'm going to stop, but, but I want to try one more thing. Hello? Hi, Karen. Yeah. It's Roy from UPS. I, I had a delivery for you today over there on Heights. Okay. Uh, but there's a problem. Oh, what? Uh, well, I took 
I took, I opened the box that it came in. You know, I untaped it and opened it up. I, yeah. was, I was just admiring. I was curious what was in it. And uh, I, I hit a bump and I was using my turn signal. I don't know how to explain it, but it flew out the window and shattered on the road. Oh. It was like a decorative decorative thing, like a glass and gold plated bowl or I don't I didn't get a good look at it before it shattered on the road. Oh. But I was just admiring it while I was driving over there and it slipped out of my sweaty hand. Oh. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not, so I'm just trying to think of what the heck it was, where it was coming from. Uh, I feel like a dummy. (laughs) I stopped and I went out and looked and it is in so many tiny pieces. I can't even tell what it was. Right. And I opened up all Uh, the paperwork and it was all just kind of generic paperwork. It didn't really tell me what the item was. Now, did it say on the box where it was coming from? Uh, well, I left the box with one of your neighbors Okay. Because I thought maybe that way they would get blamed for it being broken <laughs> when they brought it to you. Right. But then I had a sudden So you put change. it all back in the box? Well, uh, what I could find of it. The pieces? But, yeah, most of it was just shattered tiny pieces. Yeah. And then I lost all the paperwork. Um, well. Sorry about um, that. Yeah. Well, I'm not home yet however i guess it would somehow have to be replaced once i figure out what the heck it is yeah yeah just whoever sent that to you have them send you another one right and i was i was trying to wipe all my sweat off of it because you know i'm like a really sweaty guy and that, right. that that's when i lost control of it and it you know just kind of jumped out of my hand and flew out the window and hit right. the road okay so is it if i needed to contact you for some reason can i contact you in the number you called me on today yeah yep uh-huh this is my personal yeah. cell okay i will do that okay for what though i uh, just think yeah, i don't know just saying just so i can let you know that it was replaced i figured out where it came from well, and just, whatever whenever like w- whatever neighbor i dropped it off at hopefully they're honest and they is bring... it is it the one before the ho- my house or after my house oh it's it's a couple after your house like, I left can it you there. Know the number? Oh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I was just trying to get away quickly without being spotted. Right. <laughs> maybe they delivered it. Maybe, house. maybe, but just act like, like, just be like, "What the hell? You broke it." Yeah. <laughs> so that way, I have good neighbors. I don't know that I could do that, but anyways, well, be- I'll investigate when I'll investigate. It's better than me losing my job, you know. Right. Right, right. Well, maybe maybe it's a lesson then. <laughs> a lesson? Well, no, I don't want to learn that lesson. I need my job. No, no, I mean it's a lesson. Don't open anybody's stuff because you might break it. Okay, yeah, I just, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> How about and, that one? Well, okay, fine. I, I, <laughs> How about that lesson? I admit I wasn't supposed to open your box and remove all no, the paperwork. No, you were not. Make it fall out yeah. the window, but you sure are nice about right. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not being a Karen at all. no. No, only if I have to be. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Right now, I'm not that Karen, but I could be that Karen. You never know. Oh, don't be like that. Yeah. <laughs> you need to... Anyways, I, I will investigate, and uh, I'll just let you know. How's okay. That? Well, yeah, I guess. I don't really need you to call me, though. I just, just yell at the neighbors, and that's the end of it. Right. Okay. I love you. Thanks for letting me know. Uh-huh. What's that? I said I love you. Goodbye. Okay, bye. Well, no, can you say it back, please? I love... Hey. <laughs> Come on, I thought that was a great idea. She didn't even care. Here, let me try Crystal. I bet you Crystal will care. Hello, Steve here. Hey, Steve. I was calling for Crystal. Uh, this is UPS. This is Roy. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, she's just downstairs. Uh, I'll, I'll just give you the phone here for a second. Okay? Oh, I don't even care. Just like, um, you know, I was trying to bring a box over, like deliver a box today to <laughs> road. Oh, okay. Could could you let her know that I took her item out of the box and I was I was just messing with it while I was driving and it actually fell out the window. It slipped out of my hand, I guess because I have kind of sweaty hands, and it went on. It's broken. All right. Oh, hold on here. Talk to her. Okay. Hello. Crystal. Joe. Joe. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. Tell her how to answer. Uh, this is Roy from UPS. Yeah. And uh, you had a package delivery today. Okay. 
But the issue is that I took it out of the box while I was driving over there. And uh, well, why would you take it out of the box? Well, because I wondered what was in it. I was just looking at it. You know, I like I cut it open. I had the item out. Yeah, but why I, would why would you do that when it's none of your business, though? Because I was just curious. Like, why would you open a box that's for I was, me? I was curious, <laughs> and technically we're allowed to open the boxes, but only if there's a reason for us to. So what but, was your reason? Well, I was just wondering what was in it. And it was like this crystal, believe it or not, crystal thing with uh, like gold-plated stuff. And I don't, I think it was a bowl or a decorative thing. But I was trying to use the turn signal, and it, it slipped out of my hand and went out the window, all over the road. Oh yeah. So I opened up well, all I the. Def- I, huh? I guess put it in the box, and then. Uh, oh, I don't. Where not... do I? I left the office. Yeah, I don't want to get out there on the road though. It's it's like in little pieces. Oh. I don't think it's worth trying to salvage. Well, keep the box because now I'm going to have to. Well, I threw the deal pack. with that. I'm not at the office right now, right? So okay. Well, I kind of threw the paperwork and the 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 bubble wrap out of the window just in frustration after it happened. Joe. Joe. You can't do that with someone's delivery. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, I. So I was... now I have no paperwork. I've got an open box and all the shits on the road. How's that? Yeah, I was. I've never I w- heard of that in my life. I wasn't expecting it to fall <laughs> fall out of my hand like that. I guess I was just you know, extra sweaty today and it just slipped. Well, I have to know all the information on it. So one, like, okay, what's your name? It was gold plated. What's your last name, your ID number? Write that down. It was gold plated and I could actually see where some of the gold was rubbing off. So it wasn't even that nice. Okay. What's your last name, Joe? Oh, no, my name's Roy. Who said Joe? Oh, I thought you said Joey. So Roy, what's your last name? Uh, Gerbel. How do you spell that? T H A T. Sorry. And T like Tom? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then H like yeah. Harry. A like Apple. I wish I had my yeah. phonetic list here. And then T like like yeah. the same one. T like the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really sorry this happened. I, you know, th- this is the hey, first. Wait, your last t- name T H A T? That? Oh, no. You asked how to spell that. I'm asking how to spell your last name. Is it that? No, that, that's the word that. You asked how to spell that. How do I spell that? No, I didn't. You well, did how, too. I have a give recording. Me your, give me your name. Roy who? Yeah. Correct. What's your last name? H-U. It's Vietnamese. Okay. H-U. Yes. That's it? How do you know that though? You just told me. Well, no, you said Roy who, and then you said what's my... You're not even making sense. Are you on drugs? You aren't making sense either. Okay. okay so your last name's Hugh. H-U? No, it's not Hugh. That would be H-U-E. Mine's just H-U. That's what I just said. You said Hugh. Your last name you, is you, spelled H-U? But you said Hugh. Oh, my God. Right here. Seriously. Hello, Roy? Oh, this is Steve. Oh, hello, Roy. Steve. Hi. Hello. Give me the spelling of your last name, sir. Uh, I already did. It's H U. Perfect. Okay, yeah. that's it, right? Yeah. And then what's your phone number? What's your phone number, Roy? Uh, it's on your caller ID. Just look at your caller ID. Just give us your phone number. Well, just look Roy. at your caller ID, you lazy bitch. Ooh, whoa, whoa, here. Sorry, that just came out. Roy. That just came out. Because, because. Your name, your nu- your number, and your name does not come up the same as what you're telling us here. What's it say on there? Well, uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter, what but is- it sure doesn't come up as Roy. D- does it? So, come what's up, your d- phone number, does my it friend? Come up as Joe. With you're with UPS. Does it come up as Joe? Yeah. Joe. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. So, what's your phone number? I thought she said Tom. What is your phone number? Well, if you see the Joe on there, you should see the phone number. It ends in six oh nine. Okay, like, you know what? We'll just we'll get a hold of UPS. No, but I need the box. I can want. Can you tell? Can you tell that lady in the background just to just from. tell her to shut up, please? Well, no, that's my wife. First of all, and first of all, we run a company, so you're the one that busted the the box. So we need the tracking number. No, I don't have the tracking. Well, I guess it's probably. <laughs> So how am I supposed to fucking deal with Okay, so who's your supervisor? Tell her to stop using the fuck word on the phone. That's illegal. What's 
What's your no? It's not. Yeah, what, it what what's your super? What's your supervisor's name and phone number? Uh, her name is Carol. So we can get Carol. What's her number? Uh, just call my number and I'll transfer you. Do you want me to just transfer you? I have the transfer button on my phone on my UPS phone here. We want, we want a phone number. You mean you're not going to give me her phone number? Well, no. I was just saying I could transfer you directly over. Why would you use somebody else's cell phone number? Why would you use the company uh, number so that this you're is impossible, a sir? Okay. Line? Eight zero nine six nine. Why are you being like that way, Joe? Roy, well, uh, you guys started it. You're being all weird about it. I'm not being weird about nothing. What do you want us to do, uh, Roy? So you are what do being, I do with the box? You are then, being Roy? weird about something. Tell her to shut up. I was what are you? trying to make fun of your grammar. Jeez. What are you talking about, Mike? Where are you? Where are you calling from? UPS. Yeah, we're in Toronto, Montreal. Are you talking to her or me? Is even really confusing. You. You. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the person on on the other end of the phone. Well, no, you're actually Pardon? talking to her a bunch while I'm on the phone. It's very rude of you. I'm talking to you. One of Joe. you needs to shut the fuck up. Where are you? So I can come and see you. I already said I'm in Asterville. What's your address? Oh, no, well, I'm not at an address. I'm in the truck right now. I've got a bunch of driving to do today. Perfect. I'm right I'm right at home here at one road. I'll expect you when. Oh, no, I'm not coming there. I've already been there. So where are you in Asheville right now? I'll drive to you. I don't want you to drive to me. Why would I want you to visit me? Because I need the box. Oh, no, I threw <laughs> I the, need... the box is on the road, and I don't remember which road. It was a couple turns before your street. I, I threw the box and the packaging out on the road in frustration. Okay. So, Carol at 8069, that's, that's your... Yeah, that's the regional that's office here with UPS. Yep. Yeah, because we'll have to go through uh, the insurance to get this in, stuff, right? Uh, there she goes, just talking again. Tell her to shut the fuck up, please. You know what? Where are you right now in Osterville? I'm going to uh, come and see you. We've heard, No, you're not. I'm I'm doing my, my deliveries for the rest of the day. Well, Joe, I, I'm going to tell you something. It's yeah, Roy. we need to uh, cut Roy, come and see you. Why? Because I want to get all your proper information from you. I already gave it to you over the phone. Just, just call. Yeah, I think you might be uh, calling call, my leg here, my friend. Call up the office and talk to Carol. That's all you have to do. All right. We'll be seeing you soon, my friend. Carol or Jim? Wow, that was that was like a threat. They're going to be seeing me soon. And damn it, now i got to wait for a callback for Carol. Oh, no, I guess I don't because there they are right there. They're calling back. Come here. You've got two streets before. UPS in Asterville. This is Carol. Can I help you? Hi, Carol. It's uh, Steve calling hey, Steve. in Asterville. Hello. Hello. we got a bit of an issue here. What's that? Your driver, Roy. Okay, you have a driver in Roy that's in Asterville? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, you just kind of said yeah, your well, driver, Roy, and didn't finish your sentence. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. No, your, UP, your UPS driver, Roy. Hugh, I guess, H-U. Yeah, his real name is Joe Tankersley. I don't know why he tells everyone his name is Roy. Okay, so he's lying to us. So what's Probably. going on? It's always something with Joe. Write the name down. Okay, so what's his what's his real name here? Uh, it's Joe, J O E Tankersley. Just common spelling. Of what, Joe? No, of Tankersley. So what's yeah, the, what's the problem way. then? Spell his last name for me, please. Well, what's what's the problem? I don't understand what the problem is. What's going on? Well, uh, we run a business, and I guess he came here sometime Ooh, today. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so he took a, uh, we had a parcel, and you know, he opened a parcel, took the object out of the parcel, fell out of his hand, smashed on the road. Oh, that doesn't sound box. like Joe. I don't think Joe would do something like that. You're being silly. I'm not being so. He just called me. No, you're you're making prank calls or something. You need to stop making prank calls to our office. We get these all the time. Do you? Yeah. Carol, what's your? Where are you, Carol? What address are you at? And it's Nashville? always it's always some ridiculous thing related to Joe. Yeah. Where are you in, in Asheville? Uh, 
Carol? Because uh, I'm in uh, Asterville, too. Yeah, I'm at 86 Victoria Street here in Asterville. 86 Victoria? Yeah, yeah, here at the, the main UPS location here in the area. It's the regional office. Asterville where? Asterville. 86 Victoria. Asterville. Oh, in British Columbia? No, you fucking idiots, Ontario. <laughs> yeah, Victoria Street in, in Ontario? In Asterville. In Asterville? This doesn't make sense. Okay, you, fucking, you don't make sense. You're a fucking you... bitch. You know what? Don't Whoa. worry. We'll, we'll, I'll fucking find you. Just, why, why you, know you call me a fucking we're bitch? The one, we're the one that you're, your driver's lying to us. You're driving. You're lying to us. Oh you're, no! I wouldn't lie to you. Oh my it. goodness! My voice is my voice changer is broken, and they hung up. Why do they? Why do they hang up when I'm in the middle of making my voice malfunction? That's bullshit. I wanted them to know that I'm the same person. So I bet you I'm gonna get some really interesting voicemails later. And oh my god, look at this! I have a few voicemails in my folder on this phone number. Let's see what they are. The voicemail. Hello. I received a call from this number. Um, so we had a package being delivered. Um, I don't know who the heck you are, but there was no package, obviously. I'm assuming this is a scam. A Do scam. not call this number again, or you will know who Hunter is. Whoa. Thank you. Bye-bye. It was the first person. Mrs. Hunter. So most of these are just hang-ups. I thought there was a lot more, but let's see what this one is. Oh, it's duration. One second. So is this one. So that was the only voicemail I've gotten so far as a result of today's show. But anyway, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you, Timmy, for the list and for the ideas. And also thank you, Tim Riggie's girlfriend, for the NFT idea. That was a good one. I'm definitely going to come back to that. I think I could do an entire show of NFT in people's faces. Oh, it's Brad. It's Mike from Just the Blue again. I'm hey. sorry to call twice in a row. It's when I was right. listening to that last voicemail... Uh, Wait, I have to play your other voicemail because it's a minute long, too. All these police Come officers. on, Mike. I was driving and they all just like on side of me in front of me and stop and i just kept going talking to you about records for the snowball show vinyl kickstarter and it was like a funeral procession it turned out and i just kept talking oh, and shit. finally i think it was andy and kind of an asshole you know that the former former deputy chief of phoenix police yeah. comes out of the car and is walking towards me so i just yelled by and threw my phone down like it was a go cup and uh <laughs> but he was just they just told me to go so sorry for calling again what i was trying to say is Reefer Badness uh, did a great song for the record, and I'd like to get up copies. Yeah, so he's listening. Get in touch with me. Or Brown, I'll reach out to you to see if you have contact info for him. Thanks for the right for Wait, don't you have his contact info? Because he gave you permission, right, to put his song on the record? For the Kickstarter, I'm going to go so I don't get arrested by any accident. Bye. And now I kind of want to hear his previous message. You know, there could be important information about the vinyl album in here. Hey, Brad, it's Mike from Vista Blue. And uh, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone for uh, supporting that Kickstarter that we did for the Snowfile Show songs vinyl. Yeah. It was really cool. Uh, one of my favorite projects that I've done in 20-something years of Good. playing music. Thanks to you, mainly Brad, for doing the show and for uh, supporting the idea. Yeah. But all your listeners, too, everybody. That yeah, does. mainly thank you to me, everybody. Don't forget that part. I'm the one you should be thanking. Uh, just pitched in. And, and Not the artist that made the music. Or the guy that put the vinyl record together. Sure, and pictures, and it's so cool to get these records out there and to see everybody post them. Yeah. I uh, just wanted everybody to know, thanks for supporting it. Maybe once in a while we do still have some left. Very few colors, uh, a lot of black copies left. The Sensei Knife Black Belt, uh, we'll have those for a little while. Uh, Reefer Badness, uh, I have copies for Reefer Badness. Uh, lost, touch, lost touch with her. All right, bye. Well, he didn't sound very panicked when he said, all right, bye. I was waiting for him to be freaked out about the police. This the blue totally tricked me into playing two voicemails from him. Hey Brad, it's Eric. Uh, hey, I'm Eric. from North Carolina right now. I used to live in Pittsburgh, and I've been listening to your show for years and Carlitos for years. Yeah, I was gonna say I see your area code. You ain't from no fucking North Carolina. Nice try. Um, I was just listening to Carlito and you in the helicopter, and I missed your helicopter calls. I wish you'd, you would uh, do more helicopter calls in the future. I will. Definitely. I hope to hear this on uh, one of your shows coming up. I have listened to literally every show, uh, so I just listen to Good. anything new that comes out. But listening to Carlito, I don't know. I just really, uh, really miss, miss him. Yeah. It'd be nice if, uh, I don't know. You could do some of the calls you guys used to do together, just in memory of them. Okay. I don't know, Brad. I'm going to uh, call people yeah. Gondu Sauce and stuff. Have a good day, buddy. Keep Thanks, up the good work. Eric. Goodbye. 
I'll try. I don't know why I haven't done more helicopter calls. Those were fun. And I know you guys love hearing the helicopter noises for an entire hour of a show. Hey, Brad, how you doing, honey baby? Listen, hey. I wanted to thank you for the uh, bird chirping speakers. Yeah. Trying to keep the neighbors calm. You're now welcome. Now it's some serious finesse. And they all needed it, weirdly enough. They left my ass off. I appreciate you so much. Thanks. I appreciate you, too. Whoever you are, you didn't tell me your name. Hey, Brad, it's Schmiedel. Hey. I know the first time I heard it, it hit my ear funny, and I know you love it, too. Will you call some ladies and give us your best Barbara? Okay. I need to call more Barbaras in the future. I can't believe that list I did today didn't have some Barbaras on it. Hey, Brad, it's Brandon from Queens, New York. Hey. And... I miss you on Twitch, Brad. I miss you. Yeah. On Twitch. Goodbye. Those were the days back when I used to get on Twitch every once in a while. I should do more Twitch. You know, it's because I think it, like, I stopped when I got COVID, right? That was in January. And I know an entire month's passed since I've been sick, but I just haven't got back on Twitch yet. I need to do that. I even have a stream deck now. How am I not getting on Twitch when I have a stream deck? Hey, Brad, this is Mano One. I have a question for you. Okay. Um,. You haven't played Beverly Calls in a long time. I'm talking about people calling Beverly and, yeah. you know, getting tricked by her. Yeah, I don't really listen to the Beverly line much anymore. I guess I've gotten a little bored with her. But I want to do more of those Beverly shows. I Every once in a while, I get on my asterisk system and I download all of the sound files from the Beverly line and delete them off of the system because there's a lot of them. I think I have something like 10,000 calls now. So I really should get going on that show. Um, are you still listening to them? Like, what's going on? I know you mentioned a while back that you added some more sound bites, but they didn't make sense that you were going to yeah. fix it. Let me know. I did fix it. I think I fixed it during a Graveyard Goons show, and they actually used it after I fixed it, which was really exciting. But I think it sounds a lot better now. I took out some clips that didn't make much sense and made her sound kind of fake. Let us know if uh, you're ready to receive... A bunch of calls um, yeah, to Beverly yeah. um, before I go and start sending people to her. Anyway, thank okay. you for what you do. Love you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Brad, it's F in reality again. Hey, man, look, hey. Uh, that call where you kept telling the guy that you're just an office worker and that you're not going to personally go out there and do the oh, things yeah. that he was mad about. And he just kept saying it over and over. And I kept telling him, and he acted like I was the idiot for that. Um, that bit might be up there with that wife of yours and some of the other classic bits that you've done, because that Thanks. looks funny as hell, at least to me. And you're only doing the show for me, right? True, yeah. Fuck all oh. these other listeners. Okay, well, either way, I hope other people found it funny, because I did. And you. Bye. Whoa, you cut out there. I think you said fuck you at the end. Fuck you too, effing reality. Hey, Brad, it's Whoopapow here, calling for my cell phone. Um, I was listening to one of your older shows, uh, 740, no, never mind, that's not it, that's a new one. Like, I, I don't remember know. which one it was, but anyways, I was just thinking that you should do something like a Skippy and Dippy morning show, you call someone, and you tell them, hey, you're on the radio, and this is the channel, a friend who really doesn't like you, something along those lines, and just say he thinks what? you're a complete asshole. He says that your breath smells like shit. Oh, Guess yeah. Guess who it is, and then just have it, he guesses a random friend, like, ding, 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 ding. I've heard that on the radio before. People just confronting others that they know on the radio, because that makes sense. You're right. Um, it's, it needs to be a little polished. It's kind of a rough idea right now. Yeah, I'll get to that right away, sir. Good morning, Roy. This is Ernie. Hey. In Hobo Sode 331, you called a man named Richard, and he insisted that you had called him before. The guy with the Midwest accent. I think I recognized his voice. He's from that prank call you made in 2013 called Hang Up the Phone, where you just told him to hang up, and he didn't. Okay. And he, he argued with you. So that is, if you listen, that's the exact same voice. Yeah, uh -huh. I guess it could be. I could have called the same person twice. But it's also possible that two different people sound exactly alike. I don't know which one it is. Maybe it's just that I'm hiring voice actors and all of these prank calls are fake. And I'm running out of voice actors and you guys are starting to recognize them from previous calls. What am I going to do to fix that? Let's play a really old voicemail from November. And then I'm going to stop doing the voicemails. Hey Roy, it's Will from Upstate New York. Hey Will. I was just thinking back to one of your shows you did. I believe you were calling um, Radio Shacks. And I think it was Radio Shacks. And eventually they created a password 
to tell if someone was actually from corporate. Uh, yeah. And as I recall, that password happened to be Cactus. Now, yep. is it possible that there was some fan of yours who was in corporate and made that password? What's your opinion on that? Was that even real? I don't Thanks. know. Bye. I guess that's a possibility. I mean, maybe they knew the pranks were probably in and up on the internet, so they searched for Radio Shack prank calls. And if they're IT people, chances are they're nerds. So maybe they did like PLA. I feel like it was just a coincidence. But you never know. Could have just been some guy from the IT team in the basement of Radio Shack just wanting to see what would happen. So hopefully they enjoyed my reaction to that. Because that was pretty crazy that the very first password was cactus. That's it for today's show. Thank you to the sponsors of this one. Sim Speak, Teen Wolf Jesus, B.I. Eber for Life, Anthony R. and Carl, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. They support the show over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers, and I wish all of you would do that too. That'd be nice. Thanks, everybody. He's been living at the airport, I heard. Hacking in the phone, 2600 hertz. Tone dialing with that blue box, apparently. Switch hook, pulse generating in severity. That someone so maniacal would be so nice. Met him on the net back in 95. He sent me his tape. I sent some cassettes. Now there's a torrent on his site where you can get the Seattle phone pranks, rare jerky boys calls, Mark Knopfler, Latrine. And that's not all. I sent hella boxes of merch to his house for my run last fall. And he didn't even grouse. Pick me up at the airport before our tour then he helped me fold like a hundred shirts he's an og and he's lived everywhere this phone loser is a winner because he cares brad carter he be on the phone like that calling up your mom just to have a little chat telling her that he dinged her car but he's been a great friend to mc lars brad carter could have gone to federal jail still on probation but he'll never fail at making us laugh with illegal hijinks phonelosers.com yeah the site's pretty hyphy i'm gonna be rapping we're gonna have musicians jumping around on on you know racks and stuff doing acrobats in our store yeah yeah it's like a guerrilla marketing campaign just like a little impromptu show we're gonna be in there in just a few minutes we're in the parking lot right now with santa claus and now this covid news has got us feeling blue isolated in our homes locked up in our rooms and what are we to do when there's nowhere to go thank goodness he's got 47 different podcast shows jk just four that i see amina i'm always stoked when he drops a new dabalina plus cactus shack and the snowplow show what do you know look there's a new hobo don't tell anyone but i got a secret link where i can stream the shows secretly is pretty neat when my son was born he sent atlas a toy a baby self Phone that he still enjoys and we plan to visit him when we're back in town eat burritos on the patio yeah it's going down and you can visit too here's his home address brad is the raddest brad carter he be on the phone like that calling up your mom just to have a little chat telling her that he dinged her car but he's been a great friend to mc lars brad carter could have gone to federal jail still on probation but he'll never fail at making us laugh with the legal hijinks phonelosers.com yeah the site's pretty hyphy hey uh carol and joe the uh rcmp from vivification just to let you know eddie we're fucking on you and we're coming after you and we're gonna fucking find you and we'll do with you the proper way eh just want to let you know anyway you fucking have a good night eh and don't drop any more parcels